Hey guys, welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit, Am I the A-hole? This one's from user ThrowArray Gravating. Am I the a-hole for snapping at my mom and running away from home, leaving my parents worrying with no knowledge of where I am and if I'm safe for three days? I know it sounds bad, but bear with me. My parents, 45 female and 44 male, and I, 17 female, have a complicated, strange sort of relationship where they only pay me attention when A, I'm in a life-threatening situation, B, when I act out. I've never really thought they cared about me and ran away from home following a heated argument with my mom where she thought I was out when I wasn't. I was actually hanging out in the yard and reacted badly. I was already stressed and so when she exploded and started to yell at me without trying to let me have a word in to explain the misunderstanding, I behaved like a brat. I'll admit now, and snapped, that it's not like she cared what I was up to, that I wish I'd get out of this miserable crap hole and that I don't have to wait long for that to happen. She lost it and blew up on me, telling me that I was a disgrace, that she regrets the day I was born, that she wouldn't hold me back if I tried to leave, and that she'd be glad to see the back of me, basically confirming what I thought she felt towards me. I told her that if that's her wish, then I want nothing to do with her too. I think she tried to stop me from leaving because she tried to grab my arm, but I was out of reach and ran off to my neighbor's house before she could catch me. As it was dark, she didn't see where I went off to. Even though I felt guilty about what I said, and because I knew the level of criticism they'd face at our family's hand for not reining me in, I admit I felt it was justified and that I was preempting them. I didn't try to contact them because I wanted to see how all this will play out. Mainly if I would be welcomed back if I ever returned and not turned to the street. I got cold feet a couple of times while trying to call them and ultimately decided to leave it until a couple of days have passed so that they can cool off. Which I guess I shouldn't have done. But I don't count on my parents actually worrying about where I was or if I was safe. Turns out they do care about me. Dad came to take me home the moment he realized where I was and we had a row about the stunt I pulled and how childish it was. I felt like an a-hole for going no contact after realizing just how deep his, and her, worry ran. Someone told me that it was weird that I felt entitled to my parents' love and attention and that everything I did was to cause unnecessary drama, which got me thinking that my behavior is not normal. I'm not proud of what I did, I really feel bad. It was a spur of the moment decision that I took under stress because I genuinely thought that my mother wanted me gone. But I'm feeling conflicted because although my friends are on my side, my extended family think I behaved like a cowardly a-hole who broke her parents' hearts on a whim. This image I built of my cold, neglectful and emotionally distant parents has been destroyed now and I'm left feeling like the ungrateful brat they've always thought me to be. So Reddit, am I the a-hole? I think I am because I left them worrying, thinking about what could have happened to me and wondering where I was, likely imagining the worst scenarios when I could have easily told them that I was safe. The judgment is, everyone sucks here. Now let's take a look at the top comments. So be it 38562 says, everybody sucks here. Your whole family needs a bit of therapy. What she said to you isn't fair, and what you did wasn't fair. Sounds like your family has more issues than you running away. Bob Zeb says, Everybody sucks here. Firstly, your parents shouldn't have neglected you like they did, but it doesn't mean they don't care about you. On the other hand, what you did was just stupid. You shouldn't have just ran away when you know you're literally incapable of being financially independent. Like, sit in your room or something. Little Miss Poor Lol says, Everybody sucks here. But you, A, shouldn't have ran away because something seriously bad could have happened to you. B, should probably go to therapy with your mother because it seems like you guys have a very unstable relationship. And C, even though your mother seems neglectful, it also seems like she loves you a lot. Therapy would be the best choice to be honest. Okay, like I said in a previous video, and you guys know this, I'm usually biased towards kids in these posts. However, in this case, there are just a few things that don't add up to me. Maybe it's just me being skeptical, I don't know, I could be absolutely wrong, but this is what I think. 
First of all, the way she describes the relationship with her parents sounds like a lot of drama. Like, the parents only paying attention to her when she's in a life-threatening situation? How many times has that happened that she drew that conclusion? Like, did she put herself in life-threatening situations to see how her parents would react? Secondly, that her parents only pay attention to her when she's acting out. That just sounds like the previous step to the first thing that she noted. Now, if I absolutely 100% believe everything that OP is saying here, then everybody sucks. However, I am having problems reconciling the fact that the mom could have said something like she regrets the day OP was born and then be scared to death about something happening to her. If OP's mom actually did say something as horrible as that, then OP and her mom have bigger issues than just running away and being upset about it. The one thing I absolutely agree with most of the commenters here is that therapy is definitely something that this whole family needs. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comment section and now let's move on to the update to see what happened after this. First, I'd like to thank everyone who commented and texted me. That's sweet of you guys, didn't expect this kind of support and encouragement. Some of you asked for an update, so here it is. I spoke to my parents about starting therapy. As predicted, they weren't too impressed with the idea. But the moment I said that getting professional help would ensure nothing like that will happen again, they started considering it. I think that the idea that I might run away from them again pretty much sealed the deal. We had our first session yesterday. I'm still shaken over it. Surprisingly, Mom, who's been more snappy-ish about the whole therapy business, was the first to open up. It took some probing, of course, but I don't think I've ever heard her talk so much. She's sorry about what she said and did. Apparently, from what the therapist concluded, she has some unresolved trauma they'd need to work on concerning me getting lost at 9 years old. Uh, forgot about that. She admitted she constantly feared it'd happen again, and when she didn't find me in my room, she feared the worst. I have the habit of texting her my exact whereabouts, something I promised to do when I was 14 to get her off my back. But I never realized she read all messages and calls my friend's parents to be sure I'm safe. I apologized for snapping at her and disappearing for three days, but I can see that they still don't trust me not to bolt. They said that they still have nightmares over it happening, which explains why they come to check on me in the middle of the night, and I feel so bad, but we're working on it. I'll spare you the details, because trust me, there's a lot. But what stayed with me is Dad recounting a conversation we had about my friends and how I told him that they at least understood and liked me. His answer at the time was that he found neither to be important, and he apologized for it now, for how little he had understood back then. Another thing was my mom saying that she didn't know how to be gentle and how she struggles to act on her maternal instincts without coming off as overbearing. We unloaded a whole set of insecurities about how she wasn't permitted to be as doting and loving as she would want it because of my grandparents' involvement, how dad felt my acting out was me trying to free myself of them, and a lot, lot of stuff I couldn't possibly type with a 3000 character limit, lol. Therapist's train of thought is that with the way they were raised and how the family acts, it's not surprising that their parenting tactics focused more on dominating me rather than being emotionally available, like I need. We finished the session with them telling me how much they love me and how proud they are of me, which tears me up even now, so everything is good. We're working on our relationship, it's a slow process and takes a lot of patience, but it's worth it and we're already seeing results. So thank you, all of you, a lot, really. Well OP, it's great news that you and your family have gone to therapy and that you guys can move towards a more positive path and relationship with each other. That's great. However, I'm still a little bit bothered about everything that you said on your original post that your mom had said to you. Now that we know how much she loves you because of how you say this and the problems that she has you know, with you disappearing and all those nightmares and all that stuff, I find it even harder to believe that she would say something like she wants you gone, that she regrets the day you were born, and that she can't wait to see the back of you. I do believe that she must have said something that upset you. Yes, definitely, she apologized for it during therapy. But I'm not so sure it were those exact words. And that's just me being skeptical, because if there's something that we've learned reading all of these Reddit stories, is that there are always two sides to the coin. 
Anyways, let's move on to the next post. This one's from user Waiki. Would I be the a-hole if I fire a kid because his mother is harassing me? I, late 20s, ran a department in a startup and hired a few student workers, 17 to 21, to conduct classes. He's not great. He shows up late, doesn't prepare, but when addressed, he started to improve a lot. Still, not as good as the other, but he gets the job done. His mom, however, she knows me through a mutual friend and she has constantly been emailing me, asking why she doesn't have access to the internal system of the company so she can check on his work, sending me voice notes of her screaming at him after he forgets about meetings, sending me messages to excuse him from these classes he's supposed to conduct last minute because she didn't finish up her rounds, or even when he just forgot. The last incident was when he showed up 25 minutes late, didn't even notify us, he knew I'd be out for the day, and proceeded to bill for more than the time he was there for. I wrote on his timesheet that he was overbilling and that he needs to inform us if he wasn't going to make it on time. A voice note followed, screaming. Mommy dearest saw the note I made, screaming at him. And I, I just can't anymore. I feel like a complete butthole firing over his mother and I know his behavior justifies him being fired, but he's been working really hard and improving and I can see the difference. Am I the a-hole? The judgment is not the a-hole. Now let's take a look at the top comments. Anicitus Max says, not the a-hole, but absolutely document, document, document everything before firing the kid and be ready for mama to show up and raise hell. Possible Discount 872 says, not the a-hole. If the worker isn't performing, fire him. And honestly, it's harsh, but maybe letting him know that his mother is part of the reason he's getting canned might get her to calm the F down and shut the hell up. Because she sounds wacko. My mother stopped interfering in my work affairs when I reached 15, and the only interference she was doing was getting me more clients. They're both out of line. Fire him and make your life easier. OP responds, We have so many teens working as well with no mommy issues. We have 15 year olds that are more competent than most adults I've worked with. Legal in my country before anyone asks. Great smiley face. This is an after school job as well, so it doesn't interfere with anyone's schooling. I think I feel for the kid because my dad used to do the same. So I still feel like a complete butthole not holding his hand, but in my heart I know it's not my job to raise him. I can a banana says, you can fire him over the intentional overbilling alone. Falsifying a timesheet is a crime. Not only is he an underperformer, he's dishonest. Definitely get rid of him, not the a-hole. Opie's edit and trying to be cute says, to answer all the questions. I've spoken to both of them to cool it down with her behavior. I've blocked the mom. She contacts me through his account. So she had access to our systems anyway, which is already an issue. Luckily, I've ensured he has no access to any systems with information on the miners taking the courses. This could have opened a whole can of worms. We hired the students because the model is focused on students teach students. We have kids that go through the program and can lead full classes at the age of 15. It's made for low-cost communities so kids can be taught how to be leaders. I love my job. It has changed so many lives and gotten teens to bloom. We have a handful of paid instructors for when the interns, the kids paying cents for the programs, can't make it. Legally, I'm good too, thus making this a would I be the a-hole problem. HR is fully supportive of my decision as well as the higher-ups. They are actually encouraging it, but gave me the final call. OP, no, I do not think you would be the a-hole if you fired the kid because of his mom. I think you are the a-hole for not having fired him when he did that thing with the timesheet. I mean, come on, this kid is big enough to know what's right and what's wrong, and he knows that that was wrong. When you talked to him about being late and all that stuff, it should have nipped that behavior in the bud. Instead, he keeps doing it every once in a while and you're counting that as a win? I'm sorry, I absolutely disagree with your leadership style, but that's because I'm an a-hole. Anyways, let's move on to the update to see what happened with this kid and his mom. I know it didn't get much traction, but here we go. I took the advice and consulted with HR on this as well. So, sad update. He got fired. 
He took the time and HR spoke to him about his conduct and performance. He admitted to slacking and promised to keep his mother under control. She quickly deleted all the messages on Facebook she sent to me to remove the trace thereof, but the emails remain. He promised to keep everything up to standard and work as hard as possible. The focus was on his quality of work. His mother was mentioned, but just as an afterthought of appropriate work conduct. He then proceeded to amaze us for a total of five days before going back into his old habits again and being completely useless and even aggressive towards other team members making slight mistakes. He even charged four times the amount of time for a quarter of the quality of work the other team members produce. So his two week probation ended after nine days. I hope his mom never does this again. But all in all, his work ethic is what got him fired in the end. Yeah, OP, his work ethic is what should have gotten him fired in the beginning, before this post was even a thing. He showed that he could do great work, but chooses to do crappy work. This is just proof that to be successful in life, it's not just about aptitude, it's about attitude. This kid's attitude is the wrong one. Hopefully, he'll wise up, or he'll end up being one of those people that like to blame others for their problems. Anyways, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section. And so, we've reached the end of the video. I truly hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to reach our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Also, if you feel like chatting with others from this community, you can always join my Discord server and check out my subreddit. I'll leave the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.